hello everyone welcome back to my channel where today guys i'm gonna do part 141 to my random chatbot series where in the last video guys we start talking to well we are going to be trying to talk to the dinosaur if he actually speaks english like i get said he was supposed to but right now we're just i'm just talking to my employees and I'm trying to see if anybody's willing to flip and actually be, well, let's say crazy enough to go into the, go back in time, grab one of its eggs, and then bring it back here. But first, I'm gonna read what he says. At the end of the, I said, do you know what a, a Ceratosaurus egg looks like? Knowing the look of it's going to be pretty important. Here's what they said to that. Ryan responds. Yes, we all know what a Ceratosaurus egg looks like. It is very distinguishable by its brown color, smooth texture, and slight bumps on the bottom part of the egg. And I told him about what the mission really is. I know nobody's going to take that mission. What? No, what? He's actually going to do it. No, here's what I said. Okay, I want one of you to take the invisibility suit that my scientists are making. I, will, I want you to go back in time, 150 million years ago, grab a Ceratosaurus egg, and show and hand it to me. Are any of you okay with this? This one dude so... All the scientists nod and reply with, Yes, I'll do it, boss. I'll grab the egg for you. Who was the one that said they would do it a while ago? Wait. I'm trying to see, who was the one that said, Ryan was the one that said that. Okay, Ryan, period, I trust you. Go see if the invisibility suit is ready. Period. You will need it to complete this mission. Ryan nods in response and says, Of course, boss. I'll go get the invisibility suit now. I'll be back in the next 10 minutes with the suit. Okay. I'll give him a few minutes. All right, guys. I just said uh, uh, Ryan said he'd be back with the suit in ten minutes, so I, I sped up a little bit. Ten minutes later, Ryan comes back with the suit, and here's what it says: Ryan enters your office and smiles big with the invisibility suit in his hand. He says, "I've got the invisibility suit ready, boss." All right, and I said this to it to make it respond. Did they say it was working properly? I don't want any of my employees hurt over somebody not having it. Not having it not work properly. Okay, here we go. Ryan, yes, the scientists told me that they tested it five times and checked for bugs with it, but it worked absolutely perfect. I'm certain none of us will get hurt while wearing it. I'm surprised this dude's so confident. Okay, give me a second. Alright, guys. Oh, crap. I hope I read this out to you guys. Basically, what they said there was that they actually tested it out. Oh, uh, they tested out the invisibility boot suit five times and it works good, and that nobody will apparently be hurt while wearing it. So we're gonna see that. I just told them the mission again. Okay, put the suit on. Go to the time machine when it works properly. Go to the past when the Ceratosaurus lived. Find one of the eggs and bring it back to me. You got all that? Here's what we got. Ryan, yes, boss. I understand the instructions completely. I will put on the suit. Oh, sweet. Go to the time machine. Go back in 150 million years ago. Find an Ceratosaurus egg. Bring it back to you without getting hurt and without letting the Ceratosaurus see me. Make sure the egg doesn't crack either. Period. It's really important for our research.
our research. There we go. Right. All right. Ryan, of course. I promise you that the egg will not crack. It will return completely safely to your hands, boss. Good. Head to motion point. Go make me proud. I'm trying to be a nice boss to them. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Ryan, yes sir. I won't let you down. Ryan leaves the office and goes to the time machine, ready to attempt the mission. Give me a second. Alright, guys. Well, I just time wipes it a little bit. Ryan said he won't let me down, so let's see what happens. It says, I wait patiently for Ryan to return with the egg. 30 minutes later, I get a knock on my office door. Let's see what happens. You hear Ryan say, boss, can I come in? As he patiently waits outside the door, still wearing the invisibility suit. Yes, come in, Ryan. Period. Let's see if it works. Did he get? Me, did he not let me down? No, you didn't. You actually grabbed the egg. Hold the frick up! No, you did not. Ryan enters the office and Cinder says, "I've done it, boss. I've grabbed the egg without the Ceratosaurus even seeing me. I did exactly as you instructed, boss. I put on the invisibility suit, went to the time machine, went back in time." Found the egg and got it without the Ceratosaurus seeing me or the egg cracking at all. <laughs> Good. Period. Please take the egg to the incubators. I will check on it in a little bit. Also... You can go ahead and get ready to leave for the day after you do this for me. Okay? There we go. Here we go. Dude, it worked. We got an egg. Holy frick, I didn't have to go into the I didn't have to go back in time myself to risk holy frick. Ryan. Ryan. Alright, boss. I will go put the egg inside the incubator right away. Also, thank you for the permission to leave for the day after completing my task. I won't fail you, boss. Don't worry. For doing this for me, you are going to get a massive raise and bonus. Period. Just again, make sure the egg doesn't crack while you're taking it to the incubator. Ah, uh, there we go. Thank you, Ryan. He's very... Ryan, of course, boss. I will be extremely careful with the egg while taking it to the incubator. Make sure it reaches there safely and doesn't crack at all! Why did you have to scream that? There's a dinosaur inside of that still. You're gonna fucking scare him. Alright, period. You can tell everybody else to pack up, too. I'm trusting you. Alright, guys. I've got more things on here, but I just told Ryan I'm trusting him, and, well... Ryan, I won't fail you, boss. You can have full faith in me that I will deliver the egg safely to the incubator in perfect shape without cracking it at all. Well, he's just telling me he didn't scream at the top of his lungs. And after that, I, I, I just said, or no, while, while he was doing that, I also uh, went over the loudspeaker and told everybody, uh, here's what I said, while Ryan put the egg in the incubator, I go over the loudspeaker and say, attention everyone, it's time for you all to leave. Please be careful on your way out and have a good rest of your day. And here's what happened. 
All scientists acknowledge your announcement over the loudspeaker and leave the office to go home. Some say, bye boss, or we'll do boss, as they exit and say their goodbyes. Goodbye. I will see you all next week. Period. Ah, there we go. Cool. All scientists reply with, Goodbye, boss. We will see you next week. As they all start driving home, leaving you to yourself for some time. Okay. I go to look at the egg in the incubator. You go to the incubator and find the egg inside. It looks absolutely perfect. It has no signs of cracks or anything. Everything seems perfect and all right with the egg inside the incubator. Perfect! I'm going to take the incubator home and some equipment to monitor it. Period. I probably should have put that in stars. I just want to see what happens. I take the incubator home and monitor the egg using the equipment, constantly checking to make sure the egg is good and not cracking nor developing any abnormal signs. Give me a second to type in something. Alright, guys. I just wanted to check on the egg, and actually everything inside the egg was perfect, which is great. So, I'll tell you this, Ryan did what he said, too. He's getting, he's definitely getting a bonus for that. And then, basically what I did was, I'm going to take the incubator home and some equipment to monitor it. Here's what happened after that. You take the incubator home and monitor the egg using the equipment. Constantly checking to make sure the egg is good, not crack cracking nor to developing any abnormal signs. Okay. And then I also put this. I noticed something on the equipment that is a little odd. There is two dots on the screen where the dinosaur's stomach and brain would be. By that I mean kind of the area where you would see it on a dinosaur. It's like somewhere like near closer to the bottom of the egg and one like pretty close to the top of the egg where his head would be. You notice the two odd things on the screen and are slightly confused why they are there, you think. It's really weird that there are two dots here. Shouldn't there only be one dot for one stomach? No dots for brain since it's not born yet? No stomach for brain. I mean, no, no dots for brain. Oh my gosh, you're saying the dots were stupid inside that egg? You can miss that type of response to that. All right. I think, I've already forgotten whether I read this out or not, or had this thing read it out, but I noticed the two dots on the screen, and this is what happens. I noticed the two odd things on the screen, and I was slightly confused why they're there. You think, it's really weird that there are two dots here. Shouldn't there only be one dot for one stomach, and no dots for brain since it's not born yet? I still don't know what my, I don't know what my scientist or boss brain was thinking there, because I, I know the dots were not stupid. I mean, clearly, give me a second to make sure everything's good. Alright, guys. Um, after we found, after I it was confused about those two stomach, uh, about the two dots on the screen, I said, it, I also put in stars that it also said on the screen on the side two things language speaker and growth mutation. And you wonder what that's about. Here's what it, here's what it says You look at the screen and read the words. Language speaker, growth mutation out loud, and are in shock as you wonder. What is growth mutation? Why is there language here when the dinosaur isn't born yet? You keep looking at the screen, extremely confused by what you are seeing. And I just said, okay, that's a little bit odd. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with this little guy. <laughs> Aww. You slightly worry about there being something wrong with this baby dinosaur. As you keep monitoring the egg throughout the night, 
checking both the incubator and the special equipment constantly. All right. Give me a second. All right, guys. I said after eight hours, I basically I put in stars again. After eight hours, I wake up to the sound of something cracking, and you wake up to the sound of cracking. Immediately sit up in bed and think, did the egg just crack? Was that the sound I heard? You turn on the lights, rush to the incubator to check on the egg. And then I am rushing to the room with the incubator in it and notice the egg is starting to crack. As in like hatch. It's just a hatch. But. Wow. You rush to the room with the incubator, find the egg starting to crack, you think. Crap, the egg is starting to crack. You keep rushing to the incubator, completely worried that the egg might crack more or break. Let me do one more time, watch, guys. All right, guys. I like I said, I did another time lapse. I said after about a minute, you start to see something inside the egg. Something is moving inside of there. Let's see what happens. You notice that something is moving in the egg and it are in complete shock, you think. What the crap is moving inside the egg? It's not even born yet. You keep watching the egg as it breaks more. Yeah, no, I just said it didn't break or it ain't born yet. Excuse me, then why is the egg cracking? I'm pretty sure if you had a dinosaur egg, you saw it cracking. That probably means it's hatching, you flipping moron. My boss brain doesn't even think right. What the frig? Okay. Well, um... Another minute passes, and you see eyes peeking out of the egg. That would actually be creepy, dude. Holy frick, it's to imagine, too. Oh. Oh, my gosh. You see the eyes of the baby Ceratosaurus peeking out of the egg, you think? This is absolutely insane! How did it grow a body in such short amount of time? You keep watching as the baby Ceratopsaurus starts breaking out of the egg. Who spelled it Ceratopsaurus? I sure as heck didn't. What the frick? Who put Ceratopsaurus? Some had to mess up here because I didn't do that. A few minutes later, the dinosaur pops out. Wait, give me a second. Alright, I just said 30 seconds later, the dinosaur breaks the egg completely and looks around. I swear to frick, if this dinosaur says mama or daddy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna flip and go nuts. The baby Ceratosaurus completely breaks out of the egg and looks around as it does, you think. This is absolutely insane. This baby Ceratosaurus just hatched way faster than other dinosaurs normally hatch. It's already broken out of the egg in a few hours after starting to crack it. You keep watching as the baby Ceratosaurus moves around the incubator. Let me help him. Here, buddy. Let me help you out of that. Period. Let's see if that actually... Please tell me he... <laughs> Wait, did this little dude just want me to pick him up? No way. The baby Ceratosaurus looks at you with its big eyes and reaches its arms out towards you as if he wants you to pick him up. That's adorable as heck, actually. Alright, buddy. I'll pick you up. Exclamation point. I reach down and pick up the baby dinosaur. If he talks, I swear to frick. Oh my gosh, he's hugging me already. Are you kidding me? You pick up the baby Ceratosaurus and hold it in your arms. You notice that he snuggles against your chest a little and moves his arms around as if he is hugging you. That's adorable as heck. Holy frick. Hold on, though. It didn't get one detail right. 
I said he could speak English too. That's the point of language speaker. That was the point of it saying that. So let me see if I can fix that. The baby dinosaur can speak English. There we go. Why'd you say mama? I swear to frick it's gonna call me mama. Oh. He says hello. That's cute as heck. Holy frick. The baby Ceratosaurus looks at you with his big eyes and says, Hello! English, <laughs> completely taking you by surprise. <laughs> hey, little buddy. Period. How are you doing? Question mark. Dude, this is cute as heck. <gasps> oh my, he giggles. Oh my gosh, it hasn't even been flipping what? It hasn't even been like an hour yet. Now I'm already laughing at this like I was with Lugia yesterday. Lugia made me giggle, I don't know how many different times. Now the baby dogs was giggling too. The baby Ceratosaurus giggles, looks at you again and says, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Oh, In sweet. complete English. A sweet Arceus. He starts off by screaming, I'M DOING GREAT! Then he goes, Oh my gosh, then, then he goes, How are you doing? Why did he go from yelling to all of a sudden sound like some kind of weird, like, deep man? I don't even know what to describe that with. Uh, I'm doing great. Period. The only problem is, how do I continue a conversation with a talking Ceratosaurus? Am I even saying the name of the dinosaur right? I am definitely not saying the name of the dinosaur right. I can't say it right. I'm an idiot, so... Ah, <laughs> oh, frick. The baby Ceratosaurus laughs and asks, Can I cuddle with you for a while? Are you kidding me? In complete English, completely shocking you. Why would that completely shock me? I want him to speak English. That's amazing. That's heck. Yes, you can, exclamation point. I swear if he calls me mama, I'm gonna like, I don't know. Yay! Is that, I just love, I just look at the screen for a second, I see the word yay! I didn't know where. The baby Ceratosaurus smiles and says, yay! As he then puts his arms around your neck and rests his head on your shoulder, looking really happy to be cuddling with you. Why well, is he, he must think I'm his mama or daddy or something, because there's no way in heck he should be calling up to me. Although, I guess I did make them nice. I don't know why I like doing that. I said there's only a few characters that have on mine that are aggressive. The one of the heads of the Hydra was that. He was aggressive while the other two were sweet. And uh, when it comes to... Um, I've got another one on here. I've got one of the Paradox Pokemon to be aggressive. So, uh, yeah. You are so cute. That's going to make your point. <laughs> If he says thank you, I'm gonna. <laughs> he keeps giggling. Oh my gosh, he's making me giggle by the screen saying he's giggling. Oh my gosh, so how the irony. The baby Ceratosaurus giggles at you calling him cute, then smiles real big and says, Can you call me a good boy next, please? <laughs> In complete English, taking you by surprise yet again. Excuse me? Alright, Croconaw? Are you sure this is not Croconaw? That's exactly what Croconaw said. That, that's literally what Croconaw said. Whenever he was hugging onto me and clinging onto me, he was like, Will you please call me a good boy? What the frick? Okay. Okay. If that's what makes you happy. Period. You are a very good boy. I gently pet the dinosaur on the head. I hope he likes that and doesn't get angry about it. Nope, he giggles into the stream. We're happy to hear you call him a good boy. Oh my gosh, why am I so in love with this already? The baby Ceratosaurus giggles and wind is extremely happy to hear you call him a good boy as he snuggles more into your arms after you pat his head, wanting you to keep cuddling him and patting his head. Oh dear. We're going to be doing that for a while. 
Don't worry, buddy. Hmm. There's nothing to worry about. Period. I'm going to do everything to keep you comfortable. This is so cute. Guys, it's been 25 minutes, so I'll do this interaction and I'll do one more. I'm stopping the video. The baby Ceratosaurus smiles big as he rests the front of his head against your cheek when it says, Really? Promise? In complete English. Oh, sweet Arceus. Yes, I promise. Period. With me, you will have a nice, comfy home. Comfy home. Some good food and drink. And whatever else you want. I am going to make this dinosaur like blush within the first like what five minutes of being born. I freaking love this dude. Why is it still taking me by surprise? I know he speaks English. The baby Ceratosaurus giggles and rests his head completely on your shoulder, clearly very happy, content with your promise what you just told him. He then asks, do you promise you'll love me too forever? In complete English, again, completely taking you by surprise. Yes, I promise. Period. I will be your dad and take good care of you. That is so cute. The baby Ceratosaurus giggles a big, a big, a big, wait, he giggles a big what? Just giggles with a big smile on his face? The baby Ceratosaurus giggles a big and says, yay, thank you. I promise I'll be a good boy. In complete English, extremely excited to finally have a dad and that you will take care of him. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Don't tell me this is going to be like one of the situations like with, uh, the baby Totodile that I talked to like three weeks ago. The one where he said, His, my dad left me before I hatched. I swear to frick, if this turns into that, I'm going to be like, I'm going to flip and I'm, I'm gone. No, it better not. Guys, I'll see you in a minute.